hello everybody welcome to my channel and i'm here today to give you a lesson all about tea so you know one of my recent lessons where i talked about one of the most important ways of sounding more british if you're a non-native speaker and you're trying to improve your british pronunciation the letter t is one of the most important thing we mustn't forget our t's but it's a bit of a tricky situation because sometimes natives do pronounce the t and sometimes they don't today i'm focusing on how you can sound more british instantly by pronouncing the t more often now before we get into the lesson we do have something in english called the glottal t it's in british pronunciation and for example, instead of saying British, I could say British, British, British. It's quite complicated and I have four lessons explaining how we do the glottal T. What we're doing to create the glottal T is we're tightening the section of the throat known as glottis. And what we're doing, we cut a sound out. So for example, instead of saying British, we cut it after the vowel sound eh, with the glottis in our throat. And what that does is create almost a muted fake sound. Now this is a really advanced technique and this is the advice I'm going to give you. Don't do the glottal T until you form a habit of pronouncing the T a lot more. And the reason why I say this is because the glottal T can sometimes cause more problems than we need. So try to focus on pronouncing your T's more first to sound more British. Then you can sound extra British or once you form that habit and you can start training yourself to do to drop your T's more, particularly at the end of words. You heard me then, I didn't say at the end of words, I say at the end of the words, at the end of the words, right? So at the end of words, it's okay, but in the middle of words, I still recommend trying to pronounce your T's when you can, which leads me on to the example sentences I'm going to give you today and they're going to make you sound more British, less international. So firstly, let's take a look at this example. I'm so happy that I passed my exam. I'm so happy that I passed my exam. Now, the reason I think I included this in sentence is because first we have connected speech. And something which lots of non-natives do is they learn the American style of connected your T. And they would say that I, that I, that I. What, what they're doing, they're changing the sound of the T to more of a the, the sound. That I, the. Right? That's American. It's not British. So that I, that I. If you start pronouncing your T's when you're drawing that and I, or a word which finishes with the T and next word begins with the vowel, trust me, you're instantly going to add more British, less international, less American to your accent. So try with a few different things. Now the reason why I'm coding the words past, that I passed, is because we have something called a consonant cluster here. Past. Another great way of practicing pronouncing your T's is by practicing consonant clusters. Again, there's a whole chapter about this in my course if you decide to join, but it's essentially if what we're doing is we're creating that sound that we cut it off with the t sound, right? Past, past. So imagine you're doing a long s 
sound and then you want to finish it with t with t sound past practice the sentence with me i'm so happy that i passed my exam now imagine somebody ask you how are you well my response is usually yeah i'm good thanks what about you what about you british english what about you water water right t is joining to the schwa sound at the beginning of the next word water water but don't get confused with it water i know somebody would be immediately starting to write in the comments that sounds like water it doesn't the vowel sound is different water water right but you can use it as a ref as a reference what about you now with the word about i'm going to give you two options you can pronounce the t or you don't have to you could say about and drop the t but make sure you're tightening that glottal part of your throat about the because if you just do a bow that doesn't sound right you have to create the tension in your throat so for the glottal t or just say about because it tends that add more effect like british for a normal lady speak if you do pronounce those t's in the beginning then we can start getting better with other techniques to sound more native next one i went to the library i went to the library i went to the library so we're not pronouncing the t at the end of the went 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 to the library that's because went finishes with a t and the next word begins with a t so we're actually just going to pronounce one t kind of merge them together went to the library i went to the library went to went to the went to the library we're not saying went to the library as and also we're not pronouncing library is library library so i went to the library at lunch time we we'll make sure you get that t and in, in the lunch time lunch so we got ch enter ch lunch time but i couldn't find the book i wanted but i so again not but i like an american is but i but i but i couldn't i i didn't pronounce the t at the end i couldn't again because it's more natural for me but it's it's up to you you could pronounce a t if you wanted to, to but i couldn't or but i couldn't is up to you if you're doing couldn't you have to know how to tighten the th that part of your throat it cut the sound out but i couldn't find the book i wanted wanted make sure you do this right another thing people say is probably having the issue with is idea of finishing with ed so people think that it is wanted but it's wanted wanted in this situation to imagine it's a spell at spell as t-i-d that's how Peter pronounces tid wanted it's not wanted dead it's not dead it's a tid tid wanted okay but i couldn't find the book i wanted but I couldn't find the book I wanted. Also, when I said at lunch time, as you could see, I didn't pronounce the T at the end of at. We could say at, we you could also say at lunch time, all right? But people who are trying to do a British accent all the time is a word, whatever. This is, uh, people mostly pronounce it wrong as a, in American style, they would say whatever, whatever. Right, but it's in British accent, it's a whatever, okay? Whatever, okay? 
obviously that's not what we want to do as a when we're pronouncing as a British accent okay and uh, so I want you to create a sentence more like this to help you to make an effective British accent more perfectly and I hope you will like this video and thank you so much for watching my video